Hey guys, welcome back to Cause3D. And I did something pretty crazy this week and I ordered a six foot tall holiday stormtrooper from Home Depot and it just came in the mail today, just delivered. We're gonna put it together. We're gonna give you a quick review of it and my hopes are pretty high, but not too high. Let's get to it. All right guys, so here it is the six foot tall holiday stormtrooper. Like I said, my hopes are not super high on this, but yet they really are. I'm hoping this is gonna be a pretty cool thing to have during the holiday seasons, put it down in my basement when I'm not using it and just have it down there as a conversation piece. So let's get cutting into this right now. I haven't opened it yet and I wanted to share my excitement or my disappointment. I don't know which is gonna happen. So we're gonna dive into it and we're gonna start pulling some parts out. So here we go. All right, well, first of all, directions on top, that's always helpful. At least they're not on the bottom. Looks like we have a nice plastic base to start with that has actually come apart already. So we're gonna move this, there we go. So we're gonna move this over to the center of the floor here and we're gonna get building. Well, there you have it. Took us all of seven minutes to put this thing together. Yeah, you're gonna talk the whole time I'm trying to talk, aren't you? Anyway, took us about seven minutes. We don't have all the set screws for the shoulders and stuff. I mean, overall, it's, it's Star Wars. I mean, come on. It's pretty cool. Um, he needs a little bit, you know, he's, It's actually not too bad. I, the, the screws in the wrists and stuff, I'm not a big fan of, but that's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. It does come with a candy cane. <laughs> and a Santa hat. Good thing they made the Santa hat extra large for his head, for his helmet. Or not. I spoke too soon, didn't I? And uh, what else, Zach? What else does he come with? Does he come with a... Uh, for, I believe... Death Star Halloween. Yeah, Death Star Halloween bucket. So, he's definitely got multiple options here. Comes with two extra hands. Looks like you can uh, change out the hands so that he could probably hold the candy cane better. But overall, I mean, the retail price on this was $2.99. By the time I had it shipped to the house, I paid probably $40 or so in shipping. But uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not screen accurate, shall we say, but it's still a very unique 
a unique piece. It's got a volume uh, volume control here in the back. Oh, stop right there. It gets pretty loud too. So no, I'm I'm happy with it. It's kind of neat. It's uh, definitely something unique. But was it worth the money? Sure, why not? It's Star Wars. Come on. So anyway, thanks for joining us today, and uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'll try to leave a link in the description. Uh, this just came, I just ordered it. So when I ordered it, there were 600 and some in stock. I don't know if that's nationwide or if that's just in my area, but if you wanna pick one of these up, I would say it's, it's worth grabbing, why not? I've spent more than that on a helmet. So we'll see you in the next video, thanks. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cause3D, and I did something great. I ordered a six foot tall animatronic holiday stormtrooper from Home Depot, and it just arrived today, so here it is. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna- Start over. Why?